Joining me now is Dr. Stephen Quay, a phys physician scientist and author of Stay Safe, A Physician's Guide to Survive Coronavirus. He was one of the first to develop evidence about the lab leak theory. Uh, Dr. Way, good to see you tonight. Now, um, what do we risk as a people if we allow this type of, uh, of muddying the waters on the truth at the beginning of a, of a health crisis to continue? Well, I think it's very clear, Laura, uh, and thank you for having me. SARS-CoV-2, which was survived, but which was an incredible uh, economic and, 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 and damage, and, and one million Americans died, was a 1% lethal virus. I have established through forensic metagenomic studies inside the Wuhan Institute of Virology since uh, January 2020 that they are working on gain of function with a 30% lethal virus, a 39% lethal virus, and a 60% lethal virus. I'm not sure a society would survive with a 10% or greater virus. So if we don't stop them, it's going to be uh, catastrophic. So you're saying that the gain of function research being done right now, continuing to be done in China and perhaps other places around the world, there was concerns that uh, a level four lab was operating in Ukraine as well, and that was uh, you know upended or destroyed, that we could be in for more real pain, much worse pain than this last virus. Well, that's right, Laura. Right now it's nighttime where, where you and I are speaking, but right now it's day it's daytime in the laboratories in China. And they're working on the Nipah virus and the influenza virus and other MERS viruses, which we have identified beyond with beyond a reasonable doubt. We found the vectors in the laboratory sequences that they're working on right this minute. So we need to figure out how to, to put, put measures in place to stop this. Well, we should not be cooperating at all with anyone who is doing this type of research, correct? I mean, there should be penalties in place, economic, financial, whatever, with, with a country like China for, for even engaging in this research at this point, correct? I mean, this, this can't stand. Well, it's correct, but of course there are laboratories in the United States, there are laboratories in Europe that are also doing this research. I think I think uh, putting proper regulations around gain-of-function research uh, is literally like shutting down people who are playing with nuclear bombs uh, because it's, it's more devastating. And, and right now it's the Wild West in all laboratories, not just China. Well, the cost-benefit analysis of the gain-of-function research just so far doesn't seem to be panning out that well, whether we're, we're doing it at UNC or we're doing it in Wuhan or wherever the heck we're doing it now. This, this is a complete disaster. Dr. Quay, thank you for speaking out. Thank <laughs> you.